Hey, Linda, how are you doing today? Good, Matthew, how are you? Good. Yeah, what do you think? Should we jump in and try to do a couple quick questions, see if we can help out? Yeah, let's do it. I um, found one here, which is a pretty big problem right now. I thought it was pretty timely, so let's hop into it. It's Wells Fargo Bank Feed Problems, and it's from Spears Marker. Mm -hmm. uh, is anyone else experiencing issues with Wells Fargo's bank feed today? And basically, it's bringing deposits in as checks, checks as deposits, so it's coming in reverse. And I know you really know all that geeky stuff about the bank feed, so uh, maybe you can explain it a little bit. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm kind of a bank feed dork, if you will. Um, so the way the bank feeds generally work, at least the old school way, was they would do kind of what you call screen scraping. It's where the system would log in and actually try to capture the information kind of like you would off of the screen and then pull the data in that way. Now, Intuit has been working really hard to create new API connections to these banks, and Wells Fargo is one of them. So most likely, there's, the challenge is either going to be on Wells Fargo's side, I mean, there's still coding there, or it could just be part of the, the, the process of getting the API put into place. And as soon as that's done, the bank feeds are going to be much more reliable, less chances of any kind of missing data, um, because it's going to be a direct connection. So I, I'm going to call this one growing pains, yeah. but it should be better soon. And, and, they, and they're working on it. So, and it's well yeah. Fargo, so it's going to happen faster than if it was, you know, Joe Schmo's bank that's not around. So it's going to get fixed pretty quick. So yeah. the key thing, I guess, is ultimately you can always go to your bank. You can download a QBO file and you can pull that information in. What you'll want to do is make sure anything that's inside of your, um, inside of your QuickBooks online that you've pulled anything in that you can. And when you pull these items in, they just be careful to match them. Try to only pull in from the bank the limited amount of time that you actually need so you don't have any duplication. But again, that's where reconciliation will help. Yep. And that's a setting too. When you do that, you can just pull that whatever days you need. Good. Yep.